Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Cantor from the Cantor Spine Center at the Paley Institute. And what I want to do today is take a little bit of a deep dive into a problem that I see patients with on a regular basis and it's one of the most common problems that we see and treat and it's very poorly understood by our patients and by the general public overall. And that problem is called cervical stenosis. And we see patients on a regular basis that are told they need surgery, that sometimes it's an emergency, and they come in and say, I don't really have any pain, I have these little tingles, and, and I don't really know why I'm getting conflicting opinions. One doctor says it's an emergency, the other doctor says, wait, wait till it gets worse. And what I want to do is make you have an understanding of what cervical stenosis is, why it's potentially a problem. And it's important to understand that cervical stenosis is the most common reason for quadriplegia, for losing the ability to walk and losing the ability to use the arms and legs and other functions of the body in folks over about 65 years old. So it is a real issue and it's something that really is important to understand a little bit better. So if you're told you have cervical stenosis, it's a good idea to watch this and try to understand it. So what does the term stenosis mean? The body has pipes, has tubes, blood vessels, uh, the spinal canal. Things travel through conduit within the body. And the term stenosis simply means when something starts to plug up those tubes. Anything that gets into these tubes, whether it's cholesterol or bone, can compromise the inside of these channels. And when it does, these channels can get blocked. And that's the main reason for coronary artery disease. The blood vessels, the tubes, start to get obstructed. And arthritis in the spine can also grow into the channels where the nerves travel through and cause a narrowing, and that narrowing is called stenosis. So this is an example of a spine, a MRI scan of a spine in the neck. Looking at a side view, you see the bones that stack on top of each other, and inside the bones there's a canal, a conduit that, that the nerves travel through. So if you look at that conduit, what you can see is there's a channel, and that channel has plenty of room. And the spinal cord is this structure that goes through the center. And in front of it and in back of it, there's white, and that white is fluid. It's space. And this is an example here of another individual that instead of having a nice, clean line, all of this stuff has grown into the canal. And instead of the spinal cord having plenty of room, you can clearly see between here and here, it's severely pinched. That's cervical stenosis. And what it's doing is it's pinching the spinal cord that travels through that tube. 